What's your shit, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Guys, can we do something real quick? Can we give it up for the women who made it to Valentine's Day and still have a man? What a crazy, crazy start to 2024. If you still have your man in 2024, I have to admit, especially if he's caffeinated, you probably deserve it. You probably deserve the situation you have. And I hope he's treating you well today on Valentine's Day. Now, if you lost your man and you got rid of your chick, then she probably deserved that too. Let's keep it real. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. That's just the truth. That is just the truth. You see, Valentine's is one of those days where nothing's going to save the reality of the situation that you couldn't keep your man. And if you've got a man, this is when all the, the women hate you, especially your friends, because they're forced to like photos of you with the man that you got. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh, congratulations. What's that Tyrese meme? Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh my god. But gentlemen, listen, you're in luck. Because if you're curious to know how your ex is doing on Valentine's Day, you're about to find out how she's doing or how she did, depending on when you watch this, how she's coping with the reality of being single out here. The streets are cold. <laughs> No more wasting time. Let's find out how these chicks are coping with being lonely on Valentine's Day. Let's get it. I'm on my way to go get the kids Valentine's Day stuff and drop it off at their school like I do every year. But I was on TikTok Live last night. And it was a couple of it was a couple of hundred people in there. It was a vibe. Mm. And I was telling my supporters that it's been eight years since a guy has asked me out on Valentine's Day or I've had a Valentine's Day date. Mercy. Let's keep listening. And everybody said, damn, collectively. What you mean, damn? No, but um, but here's the thing. I can make as many vision boards as I want, but if it does not align with the will of God, I genuinely believe that it's not for me. Um, and I remember, like, trying... I, I'm not a serial dater mm. anyway, but I remember trying to, like... Somebody convinced me to date multiple people, and I wish the wrong man happy birthday. That's when I knew give it up um so you're not a serial dater but you have serial dated and when you did you wish the wrong man happy birthday don't you guys just love how the accountability was tossed to some random person who forced her convinced her manipulated her into dating multiple men let's keep listening uh one of the girls on the live she asked me was i sad about it no i'm not sad um i genuinely believe that when the time is right god will make it happen um and I'm not going to force anything. I'm not going to try to convince or persuade someone that I'm worth something because I already know, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm worth something. You don't have to convince people to do that or anything like that. But yeah, I just know when it happened, I'm going to wait till like two weeks after our marriage just to be like, gee, we good. We good. We going we gonna to stick it out. And then I'm going to talk about my man. But until then... I'm going to go ahead and, and, and buy my kids they stuff and and yeah but i'm not sad about it i tr i really trust god and when i say i trust god it's not because it's a fancy cliche like i trust god like i still believe in love it's just not my time yet all right so i want to talk about that because i get it all right i get it and I also trust God, but you got to remember faith without works is dead. Like a lot of chicks out here will say things like, I'm not going to force things. The right person will come. No, you have to put in effort. You still have to put in effort. There are a bunch of women in the church, man, who are there praying for the right man and doing nothing other than praying. And you have to do more than just prayer. I mean, that's what. The Bible talks about that. Besides that, even people who don't believe in like trusting in God, you know, they, it's, it's the same thing. They just sit there and waiting for some random person to fall from the sky. So gentlemen, listen, chances are your chick is probably over here saying Sierra's prayer, waiting for that guy and doing absolutely nothing about it because she deserves it and she doesn't have to work for that man. Of course, of course, of course. Let's see if there's more. Rules for Valentine's Day if you're single. 
I spent the last two years in a row single on Valentine's Day and taking myself on a date on both occasions. And I feel like I finally mastered how to make the day perfect. First rule, let's get it straight. This is a holiday of love, not relationships. So learn to romanticize it. Now is not the time to start beating yourself. Actually, it's a holiday of relationships. You're just changing it to love so you can feel better about yourself. But it's okay. We understand. Let's keep listening. Up about not having a date. Now is the time to figure out who you want to shower in love and affection on this holiday. Because even if you are single, you are incredibly best to have self-love, to have the bestest friends, to have loving family members. The list goes on. This leads us to number two, act of kindness for anyone. Literally, buy a bouquet of flowers for a stranger on the street. Send a box of chocolates to your girlfriend's house. Spoil your parents or your siblings. And if you do have a date on Valentine's Day, oh my God, please get them a gift. Now we're going to get to making this the perfect day. Galentine's or solo date, pick one. You can go so extra with Galentine's Day. You can get super dressed up, get the best picks, cook a cute meal, host, decorate, super cute. My personal favorite is solo dating. I actually vlogged both times I solo dated on February 14th over the last two years, if you want to check it out. This is sad. By the way, Galentine's Day is like, you know, the things women do, they come together and just cry. They just circle or they just cry about their situations <laughs> oh man but yeah solo date because you have always been there for you so you should take yourself out you deserve it next plan and reservations it is crucial that you make reservations for whatever these two things that you decide to do on feb 14th okay because it is a priority oh, that's just selfish you're gonna make reservations to a restaurant why don't you leave the reservations for the couple <laughs> We're not allowed to back out or act like it's a casual thing because would you back out of an actual date you had on valentine's date no you wouldn't you would get fully dressed up for them you would probably buy a new dress for them now you do that for your friends or yourself and plan wise make an extravagant plan i do this every year this year on february 14th i've taken myself out to lunch then i'm going to a museum then i'm going to journal in a cafe i'm going to buy myself flowers and i'm going to buy myself a gift linking onto the plan you're going to do something you never get to do so this can't be some casual thing that you just do on the weekend with your friends. This is especially important if you normally get kind of sad around the Valentine's holiday. You need to build up as much anticipation and excitement for this holiday as you possibly can. You are going to change the narrative of being single on Valentine's Day from sad to amazing. This is <laughs> all this just to avoid taking a shot of espresso. And to the commenter who said it's espresso and not espresso. They didn't like that I was saying it like that. I, I heard you, bro. You know, I'm going to do my best, man. I appreciate you. All to avoid drinking coffee. Whoa. So visit a new city. Book yourself like a spa retreat. Spoil yourself. On my first Valentine's Day alone, I bought myself a Dior ring. Not because I can casually afford that because I definitely cannot. But I knew I would always wear it and there was a meaning behind it. I bought that as a promise ring to myself as a symbol of the love I have for myself. cute with it and lastly destroy all expectations what i mean by this is destroy this ideal and expectation we all have of finding our soulmate in our 20s if it happens great if it doesn't that does not mean you have failed therefore being single on valentine's day is not a bad thing you are prioritizing yourself you haven't settled in a mediocre relationship so pat on the back for you right now being single in your 20s is the new it girl thing to do okay prioritize yourself travel the world achieve your dreams and love will come when it's meant to oh my goodness bro this is exactly why because people want to know they, they they go in the comment section they'll be like why are guys just so heartless and it's not being heartless it's that they're just believing what you're saying you're saying that you're spending your 20s the years where you're the most physically attractive, the years where you're the most sought after to have fun, to party, uh, get your cheeks clapped. That's exactly what she's saying. Don't prioritize finding a man. And then the future you're going to be crying, talking about how hard life is and um, you don't know if you can go on. And then people are supposed to feel sorry for you. Nah, worst advice ever. Are we surprised at this? chick also is single again guys if you're wondering how your ex is coping with valentine's day the holidays everything so far here here are a few different ways right she just listed like eight things let's keep watching now i've said this before and i want to say it again 
everybody that's single is not lonely and everybody that's in a relationship is not happy. I know that Valentine's Day is approaching and some of you are spending it alone this year and it's making you feel some type of way or like you're missing out or that, you know, you, you drop the ball in some type of way because you're seeing all of these couples and these relationship goals and all of these couple posts about, you know, the gifts, the flowers, the this, the that, and you really feel some type of way. But stop looking at what everybody else is doing as the gauge to where you should be because people are not showing their real life trials and tribulations. People are only showing you their highlight reels and what's good and what, what looks good on the outside. You never know what somebody has going on. So if you really uh, feel some type of way or you're feeling sad that you're alone, stop doing that right now. It's the day of love. If you got to love on yourself, love on yourself. It's better than being with somebody that's not for you or somebody that's going to treat you badly or somebody that doesn't give you the love you deserve. It's okay to be by yourself. Or maybe this is a reminder that you do need somebody in your life. Let's talk about five things to do for when you're single and alone on Valentine's Day. If you're sad or have bad feelings about being single on Valentine's Day or being single no matter what day it is, just remember being single is amazing. I can't take this seriously. The lip fillers, the, 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 the face. Is... And being single says nothing bad about you besides you're independent and a bad eye. Being single says nothing bad about you if you are a woman, right? <laughs> Whether you're happily single or you just broke up since it's breakup season right now, celebrating Valentine's Day solo is actually so fun. My boyfriend's actually going out of town for Valentine's Day, so I'll be celebrating solo right with you. Oh, so she's over here lying to other lonely chicks while she has a man. No, you might be like, Liv, why is celebrating Valentine's Day single and alone fun? You can do whatever you want. You don't have to dress up and go to dinner. You can sit back, watch a rom-com. Or if you do want to go out, you can go sit at a bar by yourself. You can do whatever you want. Unbelievable. Yeah, don't be like me and have a man who pays for my lip fillers and makeup and for me to have a ring light and post videos while he's out there traveling and working. Do what you're doing, which is being sad on Valentine's Day for valentine's day and it's epic but trust me it's kind of nice to just sit home and not have to go out to dinner and small talk number one this is probably what i'm gonna do go to lush get a bath bomb get some chocolate face mask just pamper yourself and watch a rom-com so good number two bake a cake william and sonoma has so many. three sign up for a workout class get cool workout classes i belong love art in art museums like it's so cute and last but not least <laughs> splurge on yourself make it an excuse to shop why so, she talk like if that if you've been wanting something super big but can't justify it do it on valentine's day treat yourself be your own valentine's how long day. is this video period thank god if you woke up and had some flowers some candy anything for valentine's day with a valentine I hope you fall flat on your, no, I'm just kidding. No, she's not. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. One of these days, one of these days, I will wake up to some flowers, maybe some breakfast in bed, maybe something else, who knows, who knows. One can only dream. Yep, this is somebody's ex right now. If you only acted right with that last man you were with. So Valentine's Day is coming up and I wanted to just share a few things that I will be doing being that I'm a single woman. Mm. So this is for the single girls. Number one, um, taking a day off social media. I personally know myself and I'm self-aware enough to know that that's going to bother me. Like seeing all those couples and all the sweet things that you guys so deserve. But I don't want to see that. So I'm taking a day off social media. Another thing I'm doing is I'm taking myself out. I'm going to take myself out on a date. I'm gonna go spoil myself. I'm gonna go do something that I genuinely want to do. And I'm just gonna make the whole day about me. And lastly, um, I, I, let me say this real quick. I think it's really interesting how this isn't new. We know that a lot of chicks, when it comes to Valentine's Day, they'll do this thing where they'll go out on solo dates. But catch them on any other day and they're not interested in a man. They're not interested in dating. 
They're not interested in marriage. Men aren't reaching the standard. But when it comes to Valentine's Day, you see the truth, man. They're out here solo dating, um, having the Galentine's thing for the eighth year in a row. Literally, that was the first chick in the first video. And the truth comes out. But I'm probably call up like the people that I really love in my life, like my friends, my family, like those type of people. Just tell them how much I love them because it really is a love day. It's not just so much about you and your man or your woman or whatever. I know whoever's meant for me is going to come when I least expect it. But for right now, I'm just going to love them. Whoever's meant for you is going to come when you least expect it. And it's, these chicks are so lost. So like I'm in my 20s. I'm not about to be sitting here sad in the house. Y'all know how that one song goes. Well, folks. It's Valentine's Day. Brace yourselves for the insufferable couples on social media. If you're single this Valentine's Day and you're feeling a little bit of FOMO of all the people who are in relationships and doing fun little cute Valentine's dates, well, I'm going to show you something that might make you feel just a little bit better. Okay, looks like we've got a um, statistic lady here with uh, analyses and graphs. Let's see what she has to say about being single this Valentine's Day. This is a graph that shows how much time you spend with your family over time. As you can see, it starts off really strong at the beginning and it just goes downhill from there. This next one is friends. A little bit better. It kind of peaks towards your, you know, early 20s and then also takes a nosedive. Okay, now this is where things get interesting. Look at how much time people spend with their partner over time. It gets, it goes up as you get older. And all I want to say is think about all those people who are in unhappy relationships and are just not doing so hot. They have to spend a lot of time with them. And then there's you. This is you spending time alone. And look how much time you spend with yourself over time. You are definitely ahead of the curve. Bro, I thought I was the only one this year, but apparently I've only seen like four people that are like in relationships that have scrolled on my, that have been on my actual like freaking timeline. Everybody else like single as hell this Valentine. So I'm just like, yo, I am not alone. You were not alone. <laughs> we are all single. <laughs> Have you guys heard the expression of you'd rather be the how is she still single girl than the oh my gosh, she's still with him girl? There are a few points of the year where even the happiest single little girlies are feeling a little down. It's not the Super Bowl. We got Valentine's on the horizon. Now between us, I've been single for a year and a half and I'm kind of worried about being single because I enjoy it too damn much. I think my attachment style is like, who could possibly stop something this good? Everyone, and I mean it, has times where they feel a little lonely. They ask the what ifs. So I want you to remember that first mindset I said at the beginning of the video. And I have a few other rapid fire ones that you can save this and listen to this if you are feeling a little sad on Wednesday because it is totally natural. Being selective is an honor to yourself. You have to become your standards. Only bring people into your life if they add to your already super, super full, amazing life. If you feel like you need to date someone because they need to fill some sort of gap, example, loneliness, there is absolutely nothing that you can't do yourself to fill that gap. We're not searching for men to fix something. We're focusing that energy on working on ourselves to start attracting the ones that don't need to do the fixing or be fixed. I've said this one before. You can only get that little single girl sparkle back if nobody's son is making you cry. So if you're sitting here this Valentine's Day and your phone is dry as can be and you're a little sad about that, you are in the right place. No contact with exes, with situationship is the absolute only way you can continue to thrive. And again, back to the attraction thing. It's drama, but like, I'll give you some imagery too. Imagine yourself in that previous relationship where you're begging someone to walk up a couple steps to your standards, your bare minimum, and then feel the peace that you feel not doing that. I will end it with a very important quote. I gotta be single for a while. You can't control me. Thank you, Champagne Poppy, for that one. Have fun on Galentine's. Lift up your friends and relationships that have happy couples. I know it will be you one day. Absolutely everyone is capable of having love, finding love, and being loved. So, hope that helps. Bye, guys. Imagine being single on Valentine's. I bet that's what everyone thinks. Imagine being in a relationship, not knowing that. Him who's fetching you flowers is cheating on you behind your back or messaging other girls or liking the pictures or your birds posting pictures on Instagram and Facebook because she craves attention. Imagine that. Girlie, if you're single on Valentine's Day, don't be sad because the world might just be on your side. Here's Peace up, A-Town. Yeah, yeah. Roses are red. Violets are blue. 
is it February 2024? And I still ain't got no boo. <laughs> yeah, you're ahead of the curve. Spending time by yourself alone, because that's what you know we're all meant to do be by ourselves and be alone. Listen, guys, as always, I'm curious to know what do you think? Leave your comments down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.